Alright guys, so I will be flying out to Shanghai in about four days. Uh, so this will probably be my last YouTube video for a while. Until I get a VPN in Shanghai. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, I will not be competing in powerlifting until Canadian Nationals next April. So as of now, my plan to take the next four weeks just doing hypertrophy and bodybuilding workouts. As well as some additional conditioning workouts to lean myself out a little bit more. In this case, I can also give my CNS and my joints a little bit of rest. Since I committed my entire last year on powerlifting, I've noticed some imbalances in my body, which eventually led to some reoccurring shoulder, hip flexor, and lower back issues. Uh, so this is most likely caused by the lack of isolation ex and accessory exercises. Uh, so hopefully by changing my workouts, I can bring my body back in that balance. Uh, in some of my previous videos, I've talked about off-season training and bodybuilding. Uh, so don't be afraid to move away from powerlifting workouts for a little while. Uh, you can't progressively overload year-round, you know, with the same exercise. It's very tough and um, has to be very scientific too. Uh, so it's good to perform a variety of workouts to ensure um, overall body balance. So in the past year, I found that doing too much powerlifting workouts, my gross muscle groups became overly developed and my stabilizer muscles and my overall muscle development kind of got pushed out of balance. Uh, reason for this is that I often spend so much time and get so tired from doing my six as a three on powerlifting movements, um, you know, the meat potato of my workout that often I neglect isolation and accessory work after them. So on squat days, it basically takes me 45 minutes to an hour to warm up working up to the right way and then perform my six sets of three on squat while resting five to seven minutes in between. So after this one single exercise, I generally only perform one to two lower body accessories before just getting too hungry and call it quits. Uh, and doing small off, the program itself was so brutal that I basically didn't do any accessory workout after the small off routine. Uh, well, I mean, doing the small off routine. So, but I mean, these low intensity, high volume accessory exercises are very important to keep your body in balance and maintain adequate blood flow to all parts of your body for better recovery. Blood circulation basically provides nutrition and gets rid of damaged tissue throughout your body. So high intensity, high intensity interval training or hypertrophy workouts are great for increasing total body circulation and speed up this recovery process, which is what I will be doing for the next few weeks. Uh, Alright, so I will most likely perform a small of junior squat around December of this year and then which will be probably a month and then return to bodybuilding again until mid-January. Um, then from there, I will start my prep for April Nationals next year. And I will not be diving down for this competition. I will be competing, I will be competing as a 93 kilo open lifter. So I'll need to smash some pretty big numbers at National 2015 to win and qualify for Worlds. Uh, squat has always been my specialty, so I am aiming to hit at least a 300 kilo squat at Nationals at 93. Alright, so this concludes my video. Please subscribe and follow me at Randy Joe Powerlifting on Instagram. Um, once I get a VPA in Shanghai, I will continue to upload videos and update my training progress as much as possible. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Keep lifting.